Um, it was very bittersweet, I, especially the way it all went down. Um, I haven't seen the replay because I don't really remember much. I, I guess I knocked myself out throwing him, trying to go for the throw. And the ne next thing I remember, well, I remember going for the throw. The next thing I know, I'm in a choke. So that's that's tough. I uh, I just can't keep up with these guys anymore, man. My chin isn't what it used to be. My my body isn't what it used to be. I'm just getting injured constantly. And um, I haven't told too many of my training partners and trainers because I didn't want them to focus on that. I didn't want anybody else to focus on. It. But my family's known for about six weeks. I told my family that this is what I was going to do. This was the move I was going to make. And it's, it's been very emotional for me. Um, to come to this decision, but uh, I've had a lot of fights, man. I've done everything in the sport I want to do. I won a world title, I defended it. Um, I fought on pay-per-view, I've won lots of bonuses. I've done everything I want to do. The next step for me is to coach and inspire and motivate new young, young up-and-coming fighters and athletes and hopefully make this sport better is the next move for me. Do you see it coming back here? The Absolutely. I mean, we didn't. Um, I sold a lot of lot of tickets out of my gym at Impact MMA, and I mean, we're, we we only had like a couple sections left that we could even sell out of my my gym. It's it's a fairly small gym in Scottsdale, so uh, I hope they come back. We get got a lot of press. There's a lot of fighters on this card that train out here in Arizona. Um, a lot of good gyms. A lot of former world champions here. So. Uh, I hope the UFC comes back, and I look forward to at least being a part of it some way, somehow. What, what, when you look back on your career, what, what, what will you remember the most? You know what, I'll probably remember the 11 losses more than I'll remember my 21 wins. And uh, it's, it's very bittersweet. Uh, I wanted to go out with a win here in Arizona. It's been over, I mean, yeah, it's been the better part of a decade since I've gotten a win in my hometown. But I think tonight just goes to show you, you know, and actually my past couple fights, just go to show you like it's, you know, I, I think it's God's way of just telling me it's over. I mean, I was beating up, uh, beating up my last guy, got caught with a, got caught with a big punch, got knocked out against Abel, and then um, what was it? James Krause broke my ankle, first round, first minute of the first round, and then this fight and knocked myself out, throwing, uh, trying to go for, for a wrestling throw. Next thing I know, I'm waking up and I'm in a choke. So it's. It's, it's tough. It, this is God's way of telling me it's time. Um, I've had a great, fun career. I don't want anybody to feel sorry for me. I've done everything in the sport that I've wanted to do. I mean, I had the most prestigious belt wrapped around my waist, and that was the WEC belt. I held it. I had it. I defended it more than any other lightweight champion did, so I can hold my head high about that. Actually, talk about WEC, because that's awesome. I know WEC staffer came up to you and hugged you yeah. before this interview started. Um, were those the most special years, do you think, for you? No, um, I wouldn't say those were the most special, but those were probably like my peak years. Uh, everybody's like, oh, you, you're, when you're 30, you start peaking. I've, I've been doing this sport for a long time. I started training for MMA when I was 17, but I started boxing when I was 11, started wrestling when I was 14. So I got a lot of years of wear and tear, getting hit um, throughout my career. And it's, and I think it just, just tonight kind of showed it. I did not, I, I'm like, how the heck did I end up in a rear naked choke? I didn't even remember. And then someone told me, you went, you went for a throw, I must have landed on my head, and that's how it, everything happened. It, it was just crazy. So this is definitely God's way to show me it's time, and I'm happy, man. I, I've had a great career. It sucks going out on a loss, four, four straight losses in a row, but I think, uh, you know what, it's not about the past year of my life, it's not about the past four years, it's about everything I've accomplished and the lives I've touched and the people that I've motivated and inspired, and uh, I can hold my head high about all that. Was it hard, because you opened up Impact MMA, was it hard getting ready for fights while at the same time trying to open the game? You know what, I was very, very fortunate that a couple people, um, a couple different gyms opened up their doors to me. Uh, it was really hard for me to train for my past couple fights at my gym because I was like managing and running and training and like it was it was a crazy balance, you know that you know a juggling act that I was trying to do, you know being a manager and trainer and bringing people in to do everything for me and it was tough. So I actually went to Best Muay Thai in um, in Tempe and I also trained at Gustavo Dantes uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu in Tempe. So. I actually got away from my gym for this. I didn't train at my gym. Um, some of the trainers at my gym came out and helped me at some of these other gyms that I was training at, but I didn't have, I didn't train in my own house at all. I, uh, I just need to get away. It's, it's too distracting. You know, I see, I see a mirror that needs to get cleaned up or something. I'm in the middle hitting pads and I have to yell for somebody to come and clean a mirror, or, you know, take out the garbage. I'm not, you know, you can't focus if you're like managing the place as well. Is that the most exciting part? Like now that your career's over, you can put 100% of your energy into your own gym? 
You know, there's a lot of different things I want to do, to be honest with you guys. It's not just running the gym. Um, I would love to start some sort of union for fighters. Um, yeah, because I mean, the sport's growing and we're getting all these big time endorsement deals. And a lot of us, a lot of us are just like, we're fighters. We don't, we don't think about the next step. And I think if we implemented some sort of union or something like that, we could eventually, like fighters, this could be a real career. You see so many broke fighters, you know, now, and uh, I, I want to help the future of fighters. That's like my next step. Are you, are you pretty good financially right now? Financially, yeah, I'm okay, I, I think. I mean, if a tornado came and blew, took my house away, I mean, I, I hope I get a decent uh, insurance check. But yeah, I, I come from a, a finance and accounting background in college. I studied at Lock Haven University and also Arizona State. So I'm pretty decent with my money, and there's, there's other ways that I can make money. Unfortunately enough, I do have a brain and it's still fully functional. And this conversation I'll with you for another day, but the, the fighters' union thing, I mean, uh, this, how long have you been thinking about this? I've been thinking about it for a while. I mean, I think it's something that, that needs to happen. Um, we are a mainstream major sport now. And if you look at all the mainstream major sports, they all have unions and they have league minimums and some sort of retirement and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's something that needs to happen for fighters because it's this is one of those careers that when it's over, a lot of these guys don't have something else. Fighting is a full-time job. And I think that's also part of the reason why my career, I've, I got four losses in a row because I opened up a gym and opening up that gym took away from my training and my ability to focus on me. Luckily enough for me, I've been able to focus on other things outside, outside the cage. I've been, I, I was able to open the gym and do, do other stuff and I went to college, but a lot of these guys didn't do that. So I'm hoping that I can help impact and change the future of fighters. Have you talked to any other fighters about your ideas? No. No, I, I have not talked to any future fighters about it. Um, I can think of two that would probably be on board, and those are the Diaz brothers. Um, I'm pretty sure they'd be on board because they don't like the way things are going with the, the pay and all the sponsors. But the UFC is awesome, man. They've, they've, done, they've done right by me. They've treated me really good. They gave me an opportunity. I had three losses in a row, and they, they gave me a, a four-fight contract extension. Um, I've known for a while that I wanted to retire, and this wasn't – had I had won – I was already prepared to cut off my gloves and put them in the middle of the, of the ring. I just, I've done it all. Um, I've seen that, I, I've been there, I've done it. I'm just ready for the next step. I wanna, wanna have a family, I wanna have kids, and I wanna be able to focus on my gym, and I wanna focus on the future of fighters. Thank you guys so much for everything.